How's it going, YouTube? I'm Kozak, and today we're going to be talking about the Ned Rig, uh, something that has really gained a lot of popularity over the past two or three years, and it's only getting more and more popular. When it comes to throwing a Ned Rig, I prefer a spinning rod, six foot six to seven foot two, medium heavy action. You can go a little bit lighter, but you may miss some hook sets, especially if it's colder, if it's a colder months, and the uh, mouths of the fish actually get tougher to uh, penetrate with hooks, you may start missing fish. I've got uh, plenty of episodes out there where I have missed a lot of smallmouth because I was using a, a medium light action rod. So medium heavy has, has been the best for me so far and maybe 30 pound, like 20 to 30 pound braid to a eight to 10 pound fluoro leader, that's optional. You can either do straight braid or just go straight fluoro. In which case I would do, again, eight to 12 pound fluoro is uh, plenty for uh, fish in the Ned. Ned head weights, they come in all different weights. Um, I stick to the lighter end of the scale. I believe I've got some that are like a quarter ounce. That's kind of like mid range for me. You can go heavier if you're fishing deeper water, but I'm usually throwing mine. Uh, my Ned heads are usually being thrown in four to 12 feet of water and the quarter ounce is absolutely perfect for that. We're gonna be showing the Z-Man Finesse TRD. Uh, I don't like Z-Man products, so I do not recommend this. It does catch fish, but you cannot put uh, Z-Man plastics with other types of baits or it will melt into them and make a huge mess. So if you have, if you've got baits in your boat and you're kind of changing through baits throughout the day, you happen to have one of these on, you take it off, you toss it in the cup holder and it's in there with other soft plastics that aren't completely destroyed yet, this is gonna melt into them and it's gonna destroy them. So I do not recommend Z-Man. Uh, I'm just not a fan of, of whatever they got going on. A lot of their other, other products are very cheap, but this isn't a Z-Man review. We are talking about the Ned Rig. So to use a Ned Rig, get yourself what is a Ned Rig head. Basically different companies make them in different ways, but essentially it's just a simple jig head. You can even do this with just your standard ball jig head. But I went ahead and got myself, these are called Rhino Head Ned Rigs. Uh, they've got a really nice eyelet. Uh, the tie on right there is uh, weedless in and of itself. But then you've also got these really high quality weed guards on it as well and there's even a bait keeper. I found them on Tackle Warehouse, and so far, awesome. The, the hooks on them are very sturdy. They're not gonna bend out like your uh, Z-Man products. All you wanna do with a Ned Rig is get yourself a stumpy little bait. Different companies make these. I'm just gonna show you the Z-Man because, because I don't care that I'm going to put it on here and then rip it off after once the video's done. So what I suggest you do is either get yourself some Guggen Baits rattling Neds, which are very similar in size to these, but they have little rattles in them, which is a nice little perk, and they won't melt your other plastics. Or get yourself a Strike King Ned Ocho. They just released recently, and they are great little, little eight-sided miniature baits like these, but they've got much better colors, and again, they won't melt your baits. So all you're going to do is take your jig head, take the fatter side of the bait, which is hard to tell with these ones, but it's this side. And you're just gonna string it on there, string the hook point through, try to keep it as straight as possible, but it's really hard with these uh, Z-Men because of the, elas the elasticity of their baits. See, they're very, very stretchy. And then what I do is, uh, the hook point is about right here. So when the bait is, is equal, equal to where the hook point is, if that makes sense, when the head of the bait is Strung onto the hook, strung onto the hook, an equal amount. I'm gonna pop this. I'm gonna pop the hook, hook point out through the top of the bait, and just try to push the rest of it up onto the jig head, and then straighten it out as best as possible. It's not perfect. It could be better, but it, it's it's tough with the with the uh, the elasticity of these of these baits. It's really tough to get it uh, nice and straight. Another reason why I don't recommend them. But that will work, it will catch fish. Uh, I'm gonna show you what it looks like in the water. It doesn't look like much, but just like with a wacky rig, the uh, fish think it's just a dead, a dead organism or a dying organism on the bottom. And all you're gonna do is you're gonna cast it out, let it sit on the bottom, 
keep tension on the line because your bites are gonna come when the bait is just sitting on the bottom, not moving. Uh, it's, it's called dead sticking, and it's, it's when you just leave your, your little stick bait or your little plastic on the bottom and kind of just let the current and the waves impart action on that bait. And a lot of times a fish will hit it when it just makes the little slightest twitch. Another thing you can do is, is you can slowly drag it or do little tiny hops. Uh, but I don't suggest making it move too much. The Ned Rig is supposed to be kind of a passive, a passive way of fishing. Let's see what it looks like underwater. The Ned Rig is kind of a passive way, like I said. Uh, you're gonna cast it out and just do little hops, if anything, but a lot of times you just wanna have that little bait standing up on the bottom, almost like a shaky head, but kind of a even more finesse and do nothing version um, of a shaky head. So it works, it catches fish. Smallmouth will love it, largemouth eat it too. Uh, I've caught a catfish on it. Um, it's just, it's an overall effective bait. It's just not the funnest thing to fish with. It works in ponds, rivers, lakes, anything. Even though it's not the most fun bait to throw, I do suggest you try it, especially if the bite is tough. Um, works all times of the year. If you're not catching fish on a moving bait or or like something that has a lot of action, like a jig, you might wanna just try a uh, just a little Ned rig and that might be the ticket. Thank you for watching this episode of Kozak Outdoors. Please check out my other episodes. I've got more content on the way. So go ahead and hit that little subscribe icon on the side of the screen. Thank you for watching. Kozak, 